Uh, what events? K4 Women 500. Here you go. Here's the lineup. All the excitement this season has been about New Zealand, which have taken over. We all know the stats about Hungary and Germany. They've dominated for the last uh, 30 odd years. It's going to be a cracking lineup and Great Britain squeezing the final. Yeah, no, that's going to be a great race. Like New Zealand really breaking into that sort of that German Hungarian dominance the last couple of years. And um, yeah, excited to see the GB crew obviously make it through. They had a great semi yesterday. They really like showed, came through. They were sort of behind it halfway and powered through to take that third spot. Squeezing out. It's just building experience, different crew from last year for the, for the GB team. Only Revy being the only one in there from um, the Olympics. So they'll be looking at the different lineups. Spain. Spain, yeah, they've shown, they've shown to be good in the uh, qualifying the semis. That'd be an interesting one from the lane one. Germany seem to have some sort of consistency now in their team. Yeah, they always seem to change their crews around quite a lot. I'm not quite sure. So, but they've got one here that's, um, as well. All, all the times in the semis all look very close. So, you know, good race down here. Let's see into the medals. Tina Dietz always seems to be at the back, and Francisco Weber changes most weeks. Mm. Ukraine, they put some good performances in the last couple of years through here. Yeah, no, like I say, like, they, when they get together, they really can challenge those medals. And like, it's often, it's often very much like you know when you get the good crew and it's like right there, they can you know, really nail it down. Here we go, Carrington, Imri, Fisher, Ryan have taken it to a next level this season. No, they, yeah, so they've, they've stepped on well. Cam's obviously was racing earlier to the Golden K on 200. Anyway, let's mention the others as well. This is Hungary. Never count out Hungary. No, they'd say they're strong and still strong in the heats. Went straight through. Takac, Medetsky, Fazakazu, and Bad. Looking forward to Poland. A couple of new faces in here. A couple of uh, stalwarts that uh, Vita Mikolajka and Anna Pulaska, but there were some new to the team, so they're switching around since their rear boat. France, they won in Belgrade this year, and they're starting to starting to put something together. Yeah, a lot of crews sort of edging on from the Olympics, really. Like, you know, a lot of people who retired sort of did diff have gone on to do different things, different boats, and they're really sort of re developing the new boats for the next cycles, really. Uh, Serbia packed with talent as well. We have the Moldovan sisters, Starovic and Bedec also in the team, so that's, that's pedigree as well. Yeah, no. And then, last but not least, we already talked about them, but it's Great Britain who just squeezed through into the final yesterday. Uh, yeah, fantastic performance there in that semi. They were really proud. I think this for them is going to be just to sort of just to get nothing to lose here, attack it as hard as they can and see what they can get out of it, really. So, new cycle, new Olympic cycle, Olympic event, and a veggie there from Hungary. They have all the tradition. Hungary have had some good results, but Lisa Carrington, first World Cups of this season, she was behind him, Kylie, and now she's moved into the boss's seat. Yeah. So far, two goals and a silver this weekend. Well, they're all safely out. Lane number seven, France had a wonderful start. Yeah, got the blocks well. They really tightened that pocket well. Oh. You do it slightly weren't the greatest start, but I think they've picked up the rank well now. Yeah, they're up that way. Germany good start as well. That's great to see they're putting down the challenge. So Germany there, pink boat at the top of your screen with New Zealand, the third, also Poland and France looking to put forward strong with Hungary now taking a slight advantage over New Zealand, but Germany at the top of your field, pulling on nicely. Yeah, no, I'd say Germany got out well there. Hungary sort of reacts to that, that early German charge that have gone straight in the lead now, pulling it out. You can see they're setting a nice ribbon, really nice ball in time from the back. Definitely happy there, 
is the pedigree of Hungary. They've been under the radar. And they still pull the victory out. They just seem to be able to turn out good results each time. Good system. Really giving it to all the, uh, the New Zealanders. Still with a bronze medal. Probably a disappointment with that one, but still a fantastic result. Germany would be very happy with that as well. Germany really held in there, didn't they? At the last, we had a difficult camera angle, but we're actually sitting next to the line. It looks like they, they really pulled it through. Yeah, no, like I thought they might just slip back at the last hundred, but then no, they, they kept it together, kept their composure, really, and just sort of held on. With this sort of K4, you don't want to let the boat speed drop as soon as you, the power goes off or someone's overrated it, you can just drop speed and really lose a lot of ground. Ever so close there. Well done for Hungary there. They managed to come under the radar slightly and, and put it off. All the media pressure was on New Zealand, which is an incredible weekend with the amount of races that uh, quite a few of the athletes have had. Just pushing with the legs there. Just the legs are really pushing, driving the line. And everything's hurting. In the end, it was a clear victory. Yeah, no, Hungary, they just think we seem well coming into the end. So close to New Zealand and uh, Germany. You seem just get, trying to come back at the end. Only had to look left. Take the gold, Germany take the silver, New Zealand take the bronze, only point four seconds.